for the double dumbbell hang power clean, this movement is actually going to begin from the hip position. Well, what would you use a hang power clean for with two dumbbells? It's great because you can set up for multiple different movements. You can just do hang power cleans if you want. Uh, you can do hang power clean and press. You can do hang, hang power clean and push press. Hang power clean and jerk. Uh, and you can also use the hang power clean to set up for uh, the double dumbbell front squat. First thing we're going to need to do is bring those dumbbells up off the ground. You can either do so with a split position or by just centering the feet between the dumbbells, bending at the knees and hips. There is going to be a little bit of rounding at the spine, but go as low as you can. Get a nice tight grip on the dumbbells, wrap the thumb and fingers around. Take in your belly breath, extend the knees and hips. Now we're in position. The feet are going to be hip width apart and the arms are extended down to the sides. Shoulder blades are back. We want to make sure that the feet are hip width because if they're at shoulder width, the dumbbells are just going to run into the side of the legs. So we want to make sure that we're able to clear them. From here, to initiate movement, we're going to bend at the knees and hips slightly. We're not going to go down to like a full half squat or anything like that. Just about a quarter squat, slight dip. On the way up, we're going to powerfully extend the knees and hips as we shrug the shoulders and guide those dumbbells up to the rack position up to our shoulders. Taking your belly breath, bend at the knees and hips slightly, explosively power up, extend the knees and hips, shrug the shoulders, and catch those dumbbells with the forearms vertical and elbows in nice and tight, resting on your rib cage. When you're done, return them back down to the hips and repeat. Notice, I'm using the power generated from the knees and hips Sending that up to my shoulders, powerfully shrugging the shoulders and guiding the dumbbells up. We want to avoid curling the dumbbells, which looks something like this. Instead, we want those dumbbells to move in a straight pattern up and down, using the power of our knees, hips, and shoulders. Also make sure to maintain a nice flat neutral spine as you perform this. We want to avoid coming forward, trying to pull it up. It's going to be really difficult to develop power from that poor position. When you're complete with all your reps, return to the ground by bending at the knees and hips, maintaining as flat a back as you can, and release them to the ground. That's how you do a double dumbbell hang power clean.